Hi, I'm Billy Brown, Board Certified Behavior Analyst. Today, we're gonna to be talking about task list item B8. Now, that is when we need to be able to define and give examples of conditioned, unconditioned, and generalized reinforcers and punishers. So let's first break down what those first few terms are. So when we talk about something being conditioned, it means that, so it's been paired with something in the past that has established a reinforcing or punishing value to it. When we're talking about something that's unconditioned, that means that it innately has a reinforcing or punishing value attached to it. And then when we talk about generalized, that means that it's like a secondary reinforcer or punisher. So it's had such a long history of kind of providing access to whatever that other reinforcer or punisher is, that it's kind of led itself to being that thing. So you can think, when you think about a generalized reinforcer, you can think of going to get a blanket, typically, if you're, if you're already cold, makes you feel warm and comfortable and, and you might fall asleep a lot easier, leading to that blanket being a stronger reinforcer. When we talk about a unconditioned reinforcer, you could think of things like things that you're just you're born liking, like water and food. Lastly, with our conditioned, those are things that you learn to like. Uh, my favorite example of this is when I was in college and went to my first party and tried the crappy Keystone beer they had there. I thought, oh, I'll never have beer ever again. But then after I had a few and I tried a few, they then became a conditioned reinforcer. <laughs> so the same can be said with our with our punishers. Uh, and just, just think about it the same way around, except for something that's gonna decrease the future likelihood of that behavior. So hopefully that helps. And what I would love is to, in the comments below, why don't you give a, a few examples of, of some conditioned, unconditioned, and generalized reinforcers and punishments. And hopefully we'll be able to go through and, and give some of our feedback for that. Thanks.